What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon China Pearl. In today's video, we are rocking out with an absolute banger of a team. We got ourselves a double weather team that features Swift Swim Floatzel and Sand Bell Garchomp. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community so you do not miss out on any of my content. But like I said, today we're rocking out with a really cool team. I'm a big fan of weather teams, so I was just like, yo, let me throw in together two weather teams in one. So we got the top tier combo of Tyranitar and Garchomp, alongside with Pelipper and one of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon, Floatzel. Let's get started here. Team preview coming at you guys. Floatzel, number one spot right here. We got the Life Orb on it as its item, and then we're rocking, obviously, the Swift Swim ability, alongside with a great move set of Waterfall for Stab, Ice Fang, and Crunch for coverage, and then last but not least, we gotta be rocking Protect, one of the best moves for doubles. Cannot go wrong with it. Second Pokemon on squad is going to be our Rain Center. That is going to be my lovely little Paloops over here. Pelipper over here, I call him Paloops if, if you guys do not know, so probably throughout the whole battle or the whole video, I'll be calling him Paloops. Just a heads up. Just heads up. We got Scald for Stab, Hurricane for Stab, and it's going to hit 100% of the time in the rain. We also have Roost to recover HP, and then we got Protect for our fourth and final move. Ability for this guy is going to be Drizzle, because, you know, sets rain every time we hop into battle. And then the item we are rocking with is a Damp Rock to make rain last eight turns instead of five turns. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be our lovely little Tyranitar over here. Tyranitar is super, super strong as a physical attacker. We give the Lumberry as an item, so you know, if any status conditions come on us, we're just going to chomp up that berry, and we're just going to get rid of them just like that. We got the Sandstream ability to set the Sandstorm right as we hop into battle, and then we're rocking with the moveset of Protect. Dragon Dance to set this Pokemon up, Crunch for stab damage, and Rock Slide, which is also for stab damage. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Garchomp, one of the best physical attackers in the game. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon on any team. It's going to pair well perfectly with that uh, Tyranitar, you know, to raise its evasiveness in the sand due to its lovely little sand bale ability. And then we got a great move set of Sword Dance, Protect, Dragon Call, and EQ, and then our item is the Yachi Berry. You know, this Pokemon is really weak to Ice Move, so Yachi Berry really helps him stay in the battle a little bit longer whenever any Pokemon goes for an Ice Move. Really does help. Really does help out a lot. Next Pokemon on squad is going to be Tokus. So I even have to talk about Tokus over here. We got the Scope Lens and Super Luck as item and ability. And then we're rocking out with the fairly normal moveset, which works oh so well. Follow me, Protect, Dazzling Gleam, and Air Slash. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Raichu. You cannot have a rain team without a Lightning Rod Pokemon. And Raichu is a perfect Pokemon for this team. We got Fake Out for Flinches, Nuzzle for Paralyze and Speed Control, Volt Switch Pivot Out, and Brick Break to actually break screens. I feel like this Pokemon comes in many different situations, but it's really there chilling here on the team because of its Lightning Rod ability. Super, super well protects your Pokemon from uh, Lightning Moves and just soaks them up and gives them a plus one special attack boost, which works really, really well. Last but not least, the item on this Pokemon is obviously going to be the Focus Ash. Cannot go wrong with the Focus Ash on Raichu. But there it is, guys. Look at this lovely team right here. Double Weather Squad. Let's hop into that Coliseum and look to get some wins for you guys. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. Locking in our lovely little weather team right here. Let's get rolling here. Hopefully we grab ourselves a win here and get rocking out on a strong note. I've been having so much fun playing BDSP uh, double battles for you guys. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Like I said in the beginning of the video, hit that like button if you are. It really does go a long way and helps me grow as a content creator. But we're waiting for our opponent to lock in his team. And hopefully he's using something cool. Hopefully he's not just using like Latios, Raikou, Scissor, all those heavy meta Pokemon. We at least been going off meta a little bit, bringing Floatzel, bringing Double Weather Team. Pretty cool. Even though we do have Tyranitar, Garchomp, and Tokus, it's just always fun to go up against some different Pokemon and some different teams that uh, you don't really get to see. But that's why I think this game is so much fun to play, because it's just so different from Sword and Shield. It just gives you a little bit of break from a different or like a totally different format. But cool, this guy is rocking a cool team. But he has Kyogre. I should have changed the rules. I am in the blue corner. I should have said no restricted mods. So of course, this guy picks that little Kyogre. I'm kind of annoyed at that. I'm kind of annoyed at that. But he has a solid team. He has the uh, Kyogre. He has the Kingdra. He has the Toxic Kirk, which has the uh, Dry Skin. So he can soak up water moves all day. He can soak up water moves all day. He also has the Fake Out with the Ludicolo. And then he has that Jolteon and the, and the Pelipper. So you know what? I'm going to lead Garchomp. I think I'm just going to lead up straight up Garchomp. And then I might go in the Raichu and just play no rain here i'm gonna try to counteract him all day even though he's probably rocking two rain pokemon he does have two pokemon to set the rain but i feel like going into t-tar not even leading to tar just bringing him in the back is gonna be your play so i'm gonna go uh hmm or maybe i just bring floatzel i could lead floatzel that ain't too bad do i want to lead floatzel actually i don't know now you know what we're gonna go right you here we're gonna bring tyranitar and then i think we're just gonna bring tokus i think it's perfect i, th I think we just leave our Rain squad out of the situation, and we try to counteract this guy with our sand Sandstorm squad. So let's get rocking. Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. But I wonder who he's gonna lead. I'm kind of hoping he's leading like rain or something along those lines. 
We can get rolling pretty strong. I can just hard swap and get rolling from there. Let's see who he leads. He's gonna end up leading the Jolteon alongside with this uh with this Toxic. I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that all day because I can bolt switch pivot here. Actually, no, he is lightning rod, so I can just fake out. And I think I might bolt fake out the uh. What do I fake out? Toxic Crook, maybe? Do I fake out the Toxic Crook? That could definitely be your play. EQ, I would love to drop an EQ. So, you know what? I might just go for an EQ here. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to EQ, and you know what? I'm just going to Bolt Switch out. Actually, I can't Bolt Switch out. I'm just going to Hard Swap out. I'm just going to Hard Swap into Tokus here. EQ is 100% the play. EQ is just too good here. It's just way too good. So I'm going to Hard Swap into Tokus just so we can dodge this EQ and then get rolling from there. But, dude, if he didn't have Jolteon out here, because Jolteon, I'm pretty sure, rocks Lightning Rod. I could have just Volt Switch into an opponent, get off some damage, and then switch back. Be on with this turn all day. Because I think... Does Garchomp outspeed them all? It's going to be close. Actually, no. Jolteon might be faster than him. I know Garchomp's rather fast, but Jolteon might be faster. But he can't hit me with a stab move, so I don't see him taking me out. We have the Yachi Berry to soak up the ice move. I think we're thriving. I think we're sitting in such a good position. So we hard swap the Raichu. Let's get Buzz near. This thing's just going to go for a Protect. I'm cool with that all day. I am cool with that all day. Is Toxic also going for Protect? Let's see what Toxic Rook's going for. A fake out. Okay. That ain't a bad turn. Not a bad turn. I could follow me these shots. I could actually just protect. I'm going to go for an EQ, and I'm just going to protect. Because he has two Pokemon that are super effective up against my Togekiss. He has A, the Jolteon selection moves, and then B, the stab poison moves on the Toxic Rook. So I'm with this all day. I am with this all day. Still thriving. He did fake me out. Kind of ru kind of ruined my mojo a little bit, but I still think we're, we're chilling strong here. The only way we, we don't really do good here is if he doubles down in my Garchomp, but I don't see him doing that. With, a, with Jolteon and Toxic Rook out on the field, I just don't see him. I don't see him double down on my Garchomp. Someone has to go after Togekiss here. So Protect is a great call for us. I could always hard swap again, or I might just follow me and use his Togekiss as a soak. But we have to save our Tyranitar in the back end. He's going to end up with Drawing. That's totally fine. But he's going to save his Lightning Rod for the back end. And he's going to bring out Kai over here. So we can hard swap next turn. And this is fine because we get to chip up some damage. Which is just Drizzle comes out. Lovely little Drizzle. Tokus is going to protect. Show me that Cross Poison is flying towards Tokus. That could be a lovely turn for us. EQ is going to fly. Good to know that we outspeed the uh, the Toxic Rook too, just in case it's Sash. That's some big damage. It's not even Sash. Yo, we love it. We love it. So we take out Toxic Rook, no problem. Kyogre comes out here. I could change up Weather now. Might be my play. If he brings out a Swift Swim Pokemon, like King Char or something, we're going to have to hard swap and change up Weather right now. And then just get rolling from there. But if he doesn't, if he brings back out Jolteon, I'm just going to stay. Let's see. He brings out King Jar. Okay, so now's the time to hard swap. We are out of here. We are out of here. I could drop an EQ, or I could go for a Dragon Claw. What's my play? Hmm, what is my play here? I think we're just going to Dragon Claw onto you. Tiger might actually protect this. And then I'm just going to hard swap in Tyranitar. And I'm going to take Weather Control all day. This was my exact plan from the beginning. Save my Tyranitar for the back end. Have him get his weather out there, and then we get it rolling and just counteract his weather with our weather. So Sandstorm, getting popping. We got the Sand Veil rolling. I think Garchomp should be fastest on the field. And if he is, a Dragon Claw should be able to take that out, no problem. Yep, Garchomp, use a Dragon Claw. Get him out of here, yo. Get him out of here. Kingdra, out my lobby. Get out my Coliseum. We are owning you. This guy can use Restricted Mines all he wants. We're going to be rolling strong. He's going to go for an Ice Beam. That's totally fine. Oh, into that slot. I'm fine with that. Don't freeze me. Thank you very much. Buffets fly out here, and we still have the Sand Bell. So we have the Yachi Berry in case he wants to go for that. Um, T-Tar can just start dropping Rock Slides. All he has is Jolteon left. It's over with. We got this one on lock. We got this one on lock. So from here, you know, I'm just going to go for the EQ. I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to protect my boy. We'll play this one nice and slow. Love to see it, but I think this our opponent will cancel him out of here. Let's see. Actually, maybe not. I got to remember. Kyogre's on the field, and Kyogre is insane at clutching up and just picking up some big old double kills. Big old double kill. So I'm, I'm definitely scared of it still. Definitely scared of it. But yo, I love going up against Restricted Mons or Legendaries and beating them with a regular team. It's so satisfying. We're going to protect our T-Tar. We're just out playing right now. And what's he going to go for here? He's going to go for a Thunder. Oh, into you. We get to block that all day. Big old block comes in here. And Garchomp outspeeds. Good. Garchomp outspeeds the Kyogre. That is beautiful. Jolteon should go down here unless it's Sash. And I think Kyogre will go down here too. Beautiful. There it is. Bow number one in the bag. Was that a sweep? Did we lose a Pokemon? I don't think we lost a Pokemon. We did not. We clean sweeped it. We just swapped the Raichu and the Tokus and had a regard charm just do a bunch of damage. So 1-0 for today's video. Let's go hop into our second battle. Look to go back to back. Your boy is sitting at 1-0. Let's go back to back and guarantee ourselves a winning record for today's video. We just locked in our double rain team and we're waiting for our opponent to lock it in. But in this battle, I kind of want to show off the full 
We just showed off the T-Tar squad with the Garchomp. I think it's time to bring in Forest Stone Pelipper. And we might actually lead him. He does have the Bombasaur, which we do have to watch out for. Because, you know, that thing can just easily take weather control. So I feel like leading Forest Stone is definitely a call. We'll lead Forest Stone. We'll bring Pelipper in, like, third or fourth slot. Just so we can hard swap in and take weather from there. But I might just go in the Raichu here. Just so we can Volt Switch. We can fake out turn ones. I really do like that. I really do like that. We're going to bring Raichu. We're going to bring Pelipper. And then last but not least, I'm leaning a bit more towards Garchomp. I do really like Garchomp here. Where do I bring T-Tar? Who is going to be better? T-Tar or Garchomp? That's the real question. T-Tar can do some work out here. He can definitely do some work. I'm kind of, I think I'm going to lean towards him. I'm leaning towards you. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. We just have to play our weather really, really smart here. Because we have two Pokemon. We have the Pelipper and we have the T-Tar. If we can kind of control the weather and not like over swap and just like screw our say Sarah Fultz was out on the field we really didn't want to bring out our Tyranitar or we really don't want to be forced to bring out our Tyranitar so we have to play a bit smarter here to get weather control but I feel like T-Tar can definitely come in the back end once maybe Pelper goes down or something and roll out there and do some big damage because it is super effective up against the uh what is it the Gengar the Cresselia the Garchomp no not the Garchomp the Gyarados that's what I was thinking and was there one more there might have been one more but still three is plenty three Pokemon that's super effective up against you gotta love it but yo we got a jam on this is a legendary song I think it's when you find Cresselia. Oh no, it's one of the uh, lakes. One of the, like, Mesprint, Azel for Uxie. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I think so. It's definitely a legendary. I just forget which one. But he's gonna end up leading these two. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. I think I might just fake out Cresselia and watch that character's protect. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm with that all day. I'm gonna watch that character's protect. Or just hard swap. That's cool. I'm cool with that. Go in the Garchomp. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Go in the Garchomp. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I thought he was going to protect, but going into guard times just as fine. So we fake out you, and we're going to be able to drop a nice level crunch here. Built, built, chipping up some damage. Not too much, but this thing is so bulky. Give me the stat drop. We show we're orbed. Um, in this point, or in this case, you know what? I'm just going to go into an Ice Fang, and I'm going to go into a Volt Switch. Probably my play, right? Shelly is so bulky for no reason. So Ice Fang's going to pop here. We're going to switch weather right now, and we Volt Switch it out. That's my plan. I know Raichu outspeeds, which is gorgeous. And he's gonna oh, he's gonna hard swap you. Who are you going into? Who are you going into? He's gonna go into Gyarados. That's totally fine. Who goes to Gyarados? Oh, for the Intimidate. So Intimidate's definitely doing a sturdy. Intimidate is definitely doing a sturdy. That's a great Intimidate by him. So good hard swap from him. We're gonna Volt Switch out. Yeah. And not bad damage. And we're gonna swap into Pelipper here. Actually, do we swap into Pelipper? I could swap into Gyarados or Tyranitar here. And keep Floats out on the field. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with that. Do I do that? Because we have Floats on the field, which I might have to hard swap. Probably back in the Raichu would be our call. Or I could protect this turn. I'm posing a threat with this uh, with this Rock Slide. So I am with that. Sandstorm's going to pop. Um, hmm. This is tough. This is tough news. Ice Fang's going to poke. Give me a freeze, yo. Give me a little freeze action. Give me a little bit of freeze action. No freeze comes out. We're losing some life orb damage. And this thing is going to go for a calm line. So calm line is setting up, dude. Cresselia is too good, man. Cresselia is definitely top tier. S tier in uh, BDSP format. Just super, super strong for no reason. Okay. So from here, what do we do? I want to swap Void Soul. I really do. Which I might just swap it in the Raichu. You get rolling from there and, do and drop a, a crunch onto that slot. But I'm scared of that Gyarados. That Gyarados definitely scaring me, man. It's definitely scaring me. I don't know why. It's just gonna, it's just gonna hit a part of my T-Tar. So I'm gonna hard swap you into uh, Raichu. And I might protect this turn. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Because Raichu can pose that threat onto the uh, Gyarados. And I think Gyarados is gonna come in here with a waterfall. And get rolling from there. If Cresselia Combines again, I'm kind of cool with that. Because I know my uh, physical attack and crunch could do some massive damage on another thing. But we'll just see what he does. I'm just going to get the hard swap. I think Waterfall is going to come through. Or some type of water move coming into T-Tar here. Let's just see what he does. Yep, there's the Waterfall. We blocked it up. And now this is in Combine again. But what is he doing? Hopefully he's double down in T-Tar. Goes for a Moon Bus. Oh, baby. We love it. We love it. So now we're sitting here. We pose a decent threat here. I have Fake Out ready to roll. And you know what? I'm just going to Fake Out onto the Gyarados slot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We don't have our, uh, our Sash anymore. But I'm going to Fake Out onto the Gyarados slot. Instead of Volt Switching. Because I, I would rather get off some damage in case he hard swaps. And we're just going to drop a nice level crunch. Or I could D-Dance. I could D-Dance here, which I think is going to be my play. Fake out, and then just D-Dance. Actually, that thing is Rocket Moon Blast. We have, to, we have to crunch. We have to crunch. 
We have to crunch here. I'm gonna crunch. And he ends up withdrawing anyway. Dang it, dude. I was gonna. If we would have faked out the Priscilla and went for Dragon Dance, that could have been the play. He swaps back into Guard Chomp. He's ready for the Intimidate next turn. We're gonna go for the fake out. Nah. Clap up some damage onto you. And then Crunch is gonna fly through. How much damage are we gonna do? Chip him up. Take him out. Oh my lord, that was so close. I hate this game. I hate this game. My T Tart's definitely dead here. Moonblast is gonna fly. Oh no, he. Oh, we love it. He calm minds. He calm minds. That's a great turn for us. He calm minds for the setup. Um, do we think Volt Switch could actually take that thing out? I don't know. It's going to be kind of close. It's a good battle. This is such a good battle. Such a solid battle. We know he's ready to EQ. Oh, Volt Switch can definitely take him out. So we're going to Volt Switch into you. And... Do I keep T-Tar in here? I think I, I think I d dance my T-Tar here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. He might protect an EQ, but if he does, it's fine. EQ's... Oh, he's going to outspeed with the EQ. Wow, you're that fast? He's that fast. That is nuts that he's that fast. Wow, we could have just taken out the Cresselia. Is that thing choice? That thing's got to be choice. That thing has got to be choice. He has got to be choice. That thing has got to be choice. He outsped my Raichu? That's rough. That is rough. Because my plan there was to actually take out the Raichu or take out the Cresselia with the Volt Switch. Pivot back, have T-Tar eat up that Earthquake, drop a Dragon Dance, and then be able to outspeed pretty much everything. We would have been sitting in such a good position. Wow. Wow. That's got to be Chewy Scarf for Archon. That's got to be Chewy Scarf for Archon. There's no way he's outspeeding my Raichu like that. No problem whatsoever. But we still have a shot at this battle. We have a Rain Squad coming out here. He does have a... Uh, he does have a... Uh, what, what's his name? He does have Gyarados chilling in the back end there, which is kind of scary. Fultz is going to poke out here. We are Swift Swim ready to roll. Um, What do I do here? What's my play? What's my play? Maybe just Hurricane into that slot? Maybe Hurricane? I would do more damage. Probably Hurricane over onto into this slot. Because I think he's going to swap into the... Uh, I think he is going to swap into the... the What's it called? The Gyarados. Just for Intimidate on the Garchomp slot. And then get back his... Uh, get back his Choice scarf -ness. We know he's rocking the Choice Scarf. We know he's rocking Choice Scarf. Yeah, there's a swap. Going into Gyarados to give us minus one onto uh, our Floatzel. That's totally fine. So we're going to Hurricane Drop on that thing. Can do a decent amount of damage. Could definitely do a decent amount of damage. But this battle is going to be good. Don't be a good battle. It's going to come down to the wire. Because we take out Cresselia here. We have a chance of taking out Gyarados with this Hurricane. It could be good for us. And then Garchomp could be forced to come out here. If we have Rain Roll in here, we can totally just drop a lovely little Ice Fang and do some big old damage. It's four times super effective. Life Orb's gonna take that out some damage and Hurricane. Yo, take this thing out. Get rid of this Pokemon. Get him out of here. Give him the ducks. Give him the ducks. Give him the ducks. Oh my god, this thing's buried. This thing is buried. Okay, so we have options here. We have options here. We're hoping he's bringing out the. Uh, we're hoping he's bringing out the. What's that thing called? The Garchomp, so we can Ice Fang into it. But I, I don't know if he is going to. I think he's gonna show his fourth and final. But dude, that Choice Scarf Garchomp really coming up clutch for, for him. What a battle so far. He's going to go into the Gengar. Gengar's kind of scaring me. Gengar not even going to lie, kind of scaring me. Uh, I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to, obviously... Uh, do I crunch? What would do more damage? Stab in the rain, right? Or a crunch? Just double. I think it's pretty close, but I think crunch does more damage, if I, if my if math's correct. So we're going to crunch here. We're going to get off some damage, and this thing should bring... It should bring it down to focus, Ash. I know we're minus one, but Gengar is such a lightweight. He legit is such a lightweight. He ends up protecting. I probably could have read that. Maybe I should have. But he's going to block the Crunch. And can Floatzel eat up a shot? We're going to need, definitely need Floatzel to eat up the shot. Crunch is going to fly through. Eat this up. I love you. I love you, Floatzel. Hurricane's going to poke here. Uh, send it that way. Take him out. God, we need that KO. We needed that. Um, What do I do here? What do I do here? I'm just going to Scald over on you. We're going to Scald you. I know he has a Garchomp in the back. So, you know what? I'm just going to... Actually, I think we have to force the Garchomp to come out here now. I think we have to force the Garchomp to come out. So I have to take out you. We have to take out you, and I'm going to protect my Floatzel. We have to get rid of him. Because I'm not sure if this Gengar's Focus Ash. It definitely could be. But we're hoping it doesn't protect. Okay. Hey, Heart Swap's there. That's fine by me. That's actually a really good turn for us. It's actually a really good turn for us. That's a really good turn. As long as this uh, Gyarados comes into us. Yep. Gyarados comes into Floatzel. We get the block. 
We get the black all day. Hurricane's gonna poke here. Yeah, you send it that way. We have rain for another turn. I can ice fang. I should be able to outspeed this choice scarf Garchomp. I should be able to outspeed it, but I don't understand that swap there. I do not understand that swap there. Actually, I kind of do. He was sitting there thinking I'm going for a dark move. Now I'm gonna pop an ice fang. I'm getting after this Garchomp. We have to get after this Garchomp. We're gonna go here. And do I double down the Garchomp? No, I think we're fine. I think we do this. Also should outspeed that. It's Swift Swim in the rain. There's no way a Choice Scarf Garchomp outspeeds me. I'd be so upset. I would be so upset. Yo, what a battle. What a battle. And if he's not rocking the... If, if, if he is rocking Choice Scarf, this should take him out. Because that means he doesn't have Yashi Berry. He protects Gengar. We love it. We just need Floatzel outspeed. Floatzel, I love you. Ice Fang pokes out here. KO that thing. Get him out of here. No! Floatzel! Floatzel! Oh my lord, no, dude. We just lost. Floatzel couldn't pick up the KO. It's four times super effective. And I was going to double down on the Garchomp. I was thinking about it. Anyway, Pelper flinched. Dude, that's rough. That's real rough. Um, What do we do from here? I feel like Rockside, we're going to need Rockside to miss or something. I feel like we need Rockside to miss. Let's see what he goes for. Rockside connects. Ouch, man. Ouch, dude. Dude, if we picked up that KO, it was GG in the bag. It was GG's in the bag. But, yo, solid battle here. One and one for today's video. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in battle number three. I can't believe my little Floatzel, Light Forb Floatzel, I should say, could not take out that Garchomp. If we would have taken that Garchomp out with that Ice Fang, that would have been easy dubs for us. It would have been a 2v1 situation, and we would have just slapped up on that Gengar, no problem. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, going up against a very strong team. A lot of meta Pokemon. He's got the Mamoswine, the Scizor, the Tyranitar, Hitmontop, Gardevoir, who, if I had to guess, is going to be Choice Scarf. And then he's rocking Intimidate on that... Uh, on that Arcanine. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like Tokus is very good in a lot of these situations, but Scizor is just posing a threat. Scizor is definitely posing a threat. I think I'm gonna go Titar and Garchomp for the lead. Titar, Garchomp, Togekiss, and Floatzel? Sounds pretty good, but Intimidate Arcanine is scaring me. Intimidate Arcanine is definitely scaring me. So you know what? Hmm. What do I wanna do here? What do I wanna do? Do I wanna go Float? What do I, I don't know what I wanna do. Um, actually, Rain Squad's looking pretty, a little bit better. Rain Squad's looking really good. I'm gonna go, you know what? We're gonna go double Weather Squad. We're gonna go double Weather Squad. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to have some fun here in battle number three. If we lose, we lose. Hey, yo, it's all good. It is all good, but let's have some fun here. He's gonna go on Mammoth Swine, and thank God he didn't go on Arcanine. I take it all day. A good thing I switched. Good thing I switched, because Titar and Garchomp would've got dumped on by this Gardevoir. Thank God we switched. Thank the Lord. Thank Arceus. All right. Drizzle's going to come out here. Rain is popping. We got Swift Swim rolling. We got Swift Swim rolling. I'm going to Scald here. And I'm just going to straight up Waterfall right in the guard. Maybe we'll outspeed it. It is Choice Scarf. If I had to guess, right? Most Gardevoirs in this format are Choice Scarf. They fly. They, they hit hard with Moonblast and Dazzling Gleam. They're just really, really good. And they have great other coverage moves as well. We shall see what he does. Let's see what my dude does. It does outspeed. Oh no, Mammoth Swine protects. So Mammoth Swine protects. If I had to guess, Mammoth Swine might be Sash as well. And Float Soul does outspeed. Beautiful. So Swift Swim Float Soul gonna chip off some big damage here and just get rid of the Gardevoir like it's nothing. Get him out of here. Get rid of that Gardevoir. That's a beautiful turn for us. Great start for us. Great, great start for us. We love it. Skull's gonna get blocked, but hey, it's all good. He wasted a turn with Protect. We just lost a little bit of health to Life. That's all. That's all. I'll take that. I'll take that little bit of health and take out his Gardevoir. The huge KO for us. He's gonna go in the Reptar, which I don't even know who that is. It's gonna be Titar, and he's gonna change up weather. How dare you? How dare you change up weather? How dare you change up weather? Okay, so from here, I still feel like we have a decent amount of speed. Still feel like we have a decent amount of speed, and I'm going to go here. I'm just gonna do the same turn as last time. It gives me no reason not to. I feel like our Pokemon are still rather fast. But we'll see how this one plays. I mean, Floatzel's not too fast because I don't think I have any EVs invested in the speed. Or, yeah, in the speed because I, I I heavenly rely on its speed going into it, the Swift Swim ability. But we'll see because Citar and Mamoswine aren't that fast. See? Floatzel still has speeds. Bop. Big old damage. Floatzel. Floatzel. Chill on him. Chill on him. We got some big damage there. Just Pelper outspeed them too. No, Mamoswine's going to go for Icicle Spear. And that's not going to take us out. But I could definitely see Titar dropping a big old Rock Slide. And that could definitely do me dirty. Only hits me three times. Pelper outspeed. Nope, he does not. And oh, this thing's dragon dancing. Okay. 
That is a little scary that that thing is going to drag it in. Now the rock side can come out here and do some mean work. Could definitely do some mean work. Skull's going to fire. Give me a burn, though. Give me a burn. Pelper's getting off some big damage. Oh, I love you, Pelper. Give me that burn. Show it to me all day, baby. No burn. Buffets are flying. And uh, I'm trying to think of what we could do here. We have no first turn priority moves. Um, hmm. I do have guard chomp in the back. We have to get rid of this T-Tar. So, you know what? I'm just going to scald over on the T-Tar. He's going to drop a rock side, man. I'm, gonna I'm doubling down the T-Tar. There's no way he protects, right? Mammoth Swine Ice Shards. That's fine. That's fine. We eat that up. He's going to go for a rock side. That's kind of scaring me. Eat this up, Floatzel. I know Pal Prison. Floatzel, can you? I love you, Floatzel. I love you. Floatzel, you're the best. Critical hit on Pelper. It don't matter. Pelper was dead regardless. Pelper was dead regardless. We're going to bring out my lovely little Floatzel. Hit this thing with a waterfall. We're going to take out his Dragon Dance, T-Tar. Floatzel's going to go down life form damage. And then we're going to bring out our last two Pokemon, which is going to be T-Tar and Garchomp. So that's... Yo, yeah, that worked out perfectly. My rain squad did what they needed. They both died at the same time. Now we just pull out the other squad and we get rolled from there. We, you got to love it. You got to love it. The T-Tar's going to roll out here. Garchomp's going to roll out here. He's probably going to drop an Ice Shard into me, which I do have the Yachi Berry to clean that up, which is wonderful. And it really comes down to uh, what his last Pokemon's going to be. It's going to be Scizor. It's going to be Arcanine. Ooh, so Intimidate's going to... Intimidate's kind of scaring me. Intimidate is kind of scaring me. So, Protect, EQ, 100% or play. We outspeed both of them. He's going to go for the Ice Shard into my Garchomp. We know that for a fact. So, Yachi Berry's definitely going to clutch up. Going to be able to let us soak that up. And then we're gonna, just going to get off some big damage. I am with it all day. Run it up. Run it up. I don't think the, this Arcanine is going to outspeed us either. Let's see. Right? Ice Shard has Pokey. We got the Baron. We have that lovely Baron. Plus, we're rocking Sandbell, so maybe we'll dodge the moves. Maybe we will dodge the moves. But, yo, dude, that, that combo looks deadly. Look how... Dude, Titar is just such a cool design Pokemon. Just look at his design. He looks so sick. We protect him. Here comes the Ice Shard, like I called it. And, yo, Sandbell dodges anyway. Sandbell dodges. That's gorgeous. We had Yachi Berry, so it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. EQ flies through here. We have health onto Arcanine. We take out Mammoth Swine. It is GG. It is going to be GG. We got Dragon Call. We got EQs. We got Rock Slides ready to roll. And he will Wisp into my T-Tar. And if he wants to will Wisp into my T-Tar again, go ahead. We have the Lumberry. We have that lovely Lumberry. But there it is, yo. 2-1 for today's video. 2-1 for today's video. We're going to drop the Rock Slide. We are definitely going to EQ. Even though it's going to hit uh, my boy, he, bat he cancels battle anyway. What a great set of battles for today's video. Absolutely rocked out with this rain and sandstorm squad and grabbed ourselves a winning record going two and one. Floatzel did a lot of work. I wish the Floatzel would have picked up the KO in battle number two. I'm still a little salty about that because we could have had a perfect record, but I think everything worked out perfectly. The T-Tar, the Garchomp works wonders, always has, always will. Pelper Floatzel works great. And then we have the Tokus and Raichu, which we got to bring in, I think, uh, battle number one and battle number two. I think we brought uh, one of each. I think we brought one of each. But they, they did some work. They did. They definitely did some work. I feel like Raichu is really only there for that Lightning Rod instance. And the Tokus is in there for certain situations, which we couldn't really do today. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.